What's up guys? This is Combat with the K here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and this is the official tutorial for the Pro Tools Stock Clear Vocals preset. Let's get it. All right, so as soon as you open up the zip, you're going to get this folder right here. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the README. Now, the README is pretty self-explanatory. It's just one page of where you could see where you could get free auto-tune alternative, free key finder, as well as a wave to MP3 converter. These are going to come in handy later when uh, when you're working with the presets. You also have this code right here to get 15% off your next purchase, as well as my website. Cool. You're going to see, as if you open up the vocal presets and templates, you're going to see eight different presets. Now, the whole thing with these eight is there's male to female, rap to singing, as well as crisp to warm. Now, the difference between the male to the female is it's really just the way I EQ and compress. Um, the male uh, versions are a little bit more low to mid uh, range EQing. Females a little higher range. It could always be vice versa with these presets. Uh, it doesn't matter, obviously, what gender you are, just what works with your um, with your voice. Next, you see is the singing and rap. Singing will have your either your auto-tune alternative or whatever type of auto-tune you use, as well as more of a smoother compressor, compressors to reverbs to echoes. Um, the rap vocals are going to have more harder compressors, more heavy impacting vocals to like really punch through the mix. Um, then we go to the last one, the crisp to the warm. And uh, the difference between those is really f depending on your setup. Uh, a lot of people, they have uh, like TLM 103s, like very like high harsh mics that um, that have a lot of like harshness in the high end I recommend using the warm presets for those as they help bring up more of the low to mid end range of, of the presets uh, the crisp is more for like uh, vocals or um, or mics or preamps or interfaces that have more of a low to mid range to it where they sound almost too muddy so you want to use the crisp on those type of uh, vocals or whatnot Cool. So um, I also include other Pro Tools versions as well. So if you guys are running 7 to 8, 9, 10, even 7 and below, I have uh, alternate versions as well for you guys. I'm going to click one of these presets. I am going to use an example later. So I will use the male rap vocal preset warm. I'm going to use that preset right there. We're going to double click. So as soon as you double click the preset, uh, it's going to come up with this dashboard right here. And uh, I am running the newest Pro Tools version right now. So you do see a sign in right here. And um, there's even an option for collaboration in cloud backup. Uh, usually I just leave it cloud storage. You would want to name it whatever you want to name your song. So um, this one right now, we're just going to call it Combat Banger 1. Uh, we'll leave the file type wave, uh, sample rate 48 kilohertz, bit depth 24, um, my IO settings I'm going to use last use because that was what uh, was working with me. Interleaved, I'm going to change my location to desktop. All right. Cool. So I, I'm going to change my location to desktop, uh, interleaved, and uh, let's get it. I'm going to do create. Okay, cool. So I just opened up Pro Tools, and now before I get into it, you guys are going to see all these tracks right here, color-coded, um, all labeled, as well as a bunch of plugins already as well. Um, I'm going to switch to the mixer screen, and all you do for that is Command equal sign. Boom. So we're in the arrangement screen. You guys can see all these plugins right here already set up. So um, the first thing I'm going to say is this is a very basic tutorial of just how to maneuver around the DAW, how to maneuver around the presets and the template, and that's really it, just how to do slight adjustments to everything. Um, I'm not going into how to EQ, how to uh, compress, or anything like that. It's just super basic of how to use these templates. Just in case we have any issues, you want to go to Playback Engine and just make sure your Playback Engine is set with your interface. Now, uh, mine would be Universal Audio Thunderbolt. Obviously, I'm um, recording right now, so it's a little different. But uh, for you guys, it might be a Scarlett or M Audio or something like that. Just make sure that's clicked. Just hit OK. Boom. Um, next thing you want to check is your I.O. settings because it might be different. Um, if anything seems off right here, you would want to hit the default button right here. Uh, for me, all my outputs are uh, labeled differently. They're actually all grayed out, as you guys could see. Um, so I'm just going to make a change on that right now. I'm just going to put my outputs, boom, and we are good. Now we're going to get sound through everything. So just make sure you guys are uh, using your default settings because we all have different um, you know, systems and everything. So I just want to make sure it's all right with you guys. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour of, 
of the Pro Tools right now, what we have. So we have the beat track right here. This is where you would drag and drop the beat. I'm gonna go back to this arrangement screen. Uh, we have a recording track. So if you were to record in this uh, template, you would record on this track, and then you would later drag and drop it down here, which I will show you later. Uh, we have our verse lead, our verse double, verse ad-libs, our verse vox sub. Now all that is, it's an ex uh, aux um, track where I have all these rerouting into here. So all these verse um, tracks are rerouting into this big aux track so when you're adjusting volume you want to use this one to adjust and I'll show you guys that later I have the same thing for the hook uh, leads and double ad-libs same thing you wouldn't use you guys want to use this one to adjust and then uh, we have a reverb parallel compression and delay now you guys see a master channel right here you guys see these plugins so if you guys are recording, you guys might have some latency issue, and uh, latency is just when you guys when you guys are talking in the mic, and then you're hearing like an echo of your voice after, that, like a delay. That is latency. Um, you guys, if you guys are recording, you guys will want to bypass these in the master channel, and all you have to do to bypass is hold down Command and click on Mac on um, on here. If you guys don't, I don't know the shortcut from PC, but you would just right click bypass. Very easy. Boom. Um, I'll even show you if I open up the plugin and I click bypass, it's right here. So it's very easy. All the all the stock uh, Pro Tools plugins have it. All right, cool. So um, I want to go through one more last thing for latency, um, just in case you guys are experiencing latency. You guys want to mess with the HW buffer size. Um, right now I have it here because I'm just going to be dragging and dropping um, audio files in here. But you guys are, uh, if you guys are recording, you guys want to have it around like 64 to 128, somewhere around there. But uh, right now, we're just going to leave it here. So I just showed you guys an overview of Pro Tools and where all the tracks are and everything. So now I'm going to import some uh, audio files to show you guys how exactly this works. So um, a quick shortcut to import stems is just Command-Shift-I. Okay, cool. And we're already right here at BFC Stems. I'm just going to highlight all of these and click Add. Cool, I'm going to hit Done. Now you can drag and drop too, it's completely up to you. Uh, this is just the way I like to do it. It just seems a little bit more organized to me. Um, yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drag up the, the this track where the beat is. I'm gonna mute where the ad-libs and main vocal is, and I'm just gonna drag the beat up over here. Now, there's no need for this track anymore, so I'm gonna delete this track. It was just empty. Cool, so I'm gonna play out the beat now. And I'm really just looking or listening for any type of distortion or clipping or anything like that. Anything that could be really destructive in our mix. But no, everything sounded really good. Okay, cool. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is find the tempo of this beat so that way all my echo and everything will match up. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play the beat out over here where the uh, drums are. And I want to highlight this tempo right here where it shows 100. And I just want to tap the uh, keyboard letter T with the beat so that way I can find the tempo. So it's really easy. So watch, I'll show you guys. Three, four, two, two, three, four. Three, 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 four. Four, 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 four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Okay, so it seems around it's like 95. It's been um, circling around there a lot. So the way we could tell is we're gonna switch to our grid and uh, we're gonna zoom in, and you can zoom in using command brackets or R and was it uh, R and T on the keyboard as well to zoom in. I personally like command uh, brackets. So now that I'm in, I can see that's a little off. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna bring this red part all the way to where the drum is, and now I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm just gonna place it. And right at the beginning where that's at. Now when I go to grid, everywhere I go to see where that kick is, it should be on the one. Yep, there we go. All right, perfect. So we know the tempo is right, and we are good. Okay, so now we're going to focus on the lead vocal. And um, whether you just imported this track or whether you recorded this track right here, I'm going to place it here like you just guys just recorded. It's really just as easy as dragging and dropping. So I'm just going to drag this track down to the verse lead. It's right here. As you guys can see, all the plugins are here. Um, I'm going to first leave it on the recording track, and I'm going to play it out just so you guys can hear it dry and the difference between that and the when it's on this verse lead track. And I got a...
rocks So I keep this gun up on me in the daytime Like a belt cause I keep it on my waistline I really had to take it, it's like he tried to take mine They say the hustle always our way to shine That's why I'm always in Awesome, so you guys hear that's really dry There's just a little reverb on there But other than that, nothing So um, all I'm gonna do is just bring that down right there And um, let's take a listen so I keep this gun up on me in the daytime Like a belt cause I keep it on my waistline I really had to take it, it's like he tried to take mine They say the hustle always our way to shine That's why I'm always in the game, you niggas riding by And me you wanna mention you don't get no p Awesome, so you guys already hear it's a lot clearer You guys hear that clean reverb, some echo in there It just sounds a lot more mixed um, Awesome, so now uh, I will delete this track here There's no need for that And I'm gonna bring this ad-lib track down here too so you guys could first hear how it sounds with no effects and then hear how it sounds with it some woods of exotic smoking dope i'm like a big all i know is to keep it need a light they ask me why i'm doing it because we getting rich, getting rich. fake rappers drug dealers and awesome now here with the verse ad lib effects exotic shit. i'm like a big all i know is to keep it need a light they ask me why i'm doing it because we getting rich, getting rich. Awesome, and it's so crazy because all you guys did was drag and drop, and the echo's on point because we already set the tempo right here, so it's perfect. Um, another thing you guys could do is there's a verse double right here, and I left that there for either one or two reasons. One, if you guys want to record a double and you guys just want to drag it here to add thickness to your vocals, I know a lot of artists do that. Um, if not, you guys could just uh, hold down Option, drag and drop down here to duplicate, and uh, what that's gonna do is add more width or more, um, just like uh, widen the vocals more. Let's hear it. I said I gotta take a shot, I watch up in the whip. And I raise gotta it. blow some woods of exotic shit. I'm like a big, all I know is to keep it lit. They ask me why I'm doing it, because we getting rich. All right, awesome. So um, the main thing you guys wanna do a lot of is you guys wanna do a lot of leveling. Make sure you guys are leveling, leveling. And all that is is make, if you feel like the vocals are too high, lower the vocals. If you feel like, you know, you wanna raise the beat a little bit more, do that. And you guys should make sure you do that with headroom. I said so, I gotta take a shot, I watch up in the whip. I say that, you guys see the master right here. You guys don't see it all in the red over here, clipping and everything, is it has some nice headroom right here. That's a good thing, so you're not dealing with any distortion or anything with your song. Cool, and then we would want to delete this ad lib track over here too. There's no need for that. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play it out, and we have this master track right here. And uh, let's say you guys just finished recording, and you guys placed all your songs, and you guys are ready to uh, listen. We could play it back like that. Hey. Fuck around, bitch. I'm out here trying to save lives, hey. so I keep this gun up on me in the daytime, hey, hey. like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really had to take it, it's like he tried to take mine. Hey, they say the hustle always our way to shine. Whatever. That's why I'm always in the game. You niggas riding by, and me, you wanna mention you don't get no PT, uh -huh. but them to take me off. There you go. So you guys saw, I thought his um, ad libs were a little loud, so I made sure I lowered it. I thought his overall vocals were a little loud, so I lowered that a little bit more. And um, yeah, it just gets, you have a really clean, loud sound now. And um, you guys didn't have to waste any time trying to EQ or compress. All you guys did was just drag and drop. Awesome. So another little tip I wanna give you guys, if you guys are recording, and I know a lot of you guys punch in at home, um, and you guys wanna, like, let's say, make another track of this, so you guys wanna make another track of anything, you guys just wanna uh, right click over here on verse lead and just duplicate. And you guys can control what you want to duplicate when you do that. Um, usually I don't do the active or alternate playlist unless I'm um, just trying to double the track like that. Instead, I'll leave the um, just the rest of the ones over here. There's no need for group automations or, I mean, group assignments on automation, but we'll leave it there right now. Um, we'll just hit OK. And then I would just want to rename it um, verse lead, and we'll just put two. Cool. So now, let's say we're recording, we could drop one track here, and then one track here, and then one track here, and then one track here. Every time like we're recording and punching in, that usually helps a lot um, for the ones that do. All right, so that pretty much concludes this example. Uh, let's look at one more. All right, um, so this time, let's open up the uh, female singing uh, preset warm. All right, awesome. So the dashboard just popped up. Um, we're going to do the same thing and just rename Combat Banger 2. Awesome. Same settings. Cool. We're going to go ahead and make sure our IO settings are good again. So I need to make sure I change mine. Cool. Make sure I hit default, auto. Boom. Cool.
So the first thing you guys are going to see is there might be a grayed out auto key over here for you if you guys don't have auto tune. Um, so I have that there. You guys will probably see a grayed out auto tune right here too. If you guys do have it, great. Uh, it will be able to open. If you guys don't and you guys maybe use uh, Nectar Pitch, if you guys use Waves Tune or maybe um, Melodyne or something like that, you guys just make sure you guys place your uh, whatever auto tune it is right there. So um, now that we checked all our playback and everything is good, um, we're going to go and right ahead and import our session. So I'm going to go into shell stems right here and we have the two only two stems right here. We're going to add and hit done. So I'm going to drag and drop the beat right here. Um, same thing like we did last time. I'm going to delete this. Well, I'm going to mute her vocals right now. I just want to listen to the beat. I'm just gonna lower the B a little bit. It's a little loud in my headphones. Cool. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find the key of the beat um, using auto key. If you guys don't have auto key, um, I do provide, let me see right here. I do provide a free auto key finder right here on this website. You guys could go straight there and get that. And we are going to analyze this file right now. I believe it's saying it's C minor. We're gonna try it, just double check. Okay, cool. So it's saying it's F sharp minor. So we're gonna send all of these into AutoTune. All right, cool. We are good to go. So now I'm gonna drop my vocals into here. Cool. It was a stereo file, no biggie. See you again. It's when the sky and the river finally meet. So until then, how it will. So I'm just adjusting. I'm listening to it. So right now I'm just gonna listen to it and just adjust the uh, the volume. I want to make sure it's it's not too loud, not too. You know what I'm saying? Just want to make sure the vocals are at a good level. All right. So after I kind of level it and make sure it's all cool, I want to find the tempo now. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Just solo the beat. Tap. And one, two, three, four, two, two. Oh yeah, that was definitely sixty. We're gonna leave it at sixty right there. All right, cool. So I'm going to change it to grid. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, we're pretty good. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, I definitely know we got it. So the echo should be perfect now. So yeah, as you, you guys can see here, you guys could adjust the reverb. You guys could adjust the echo. And then you guys already know I left my master uh, channel plugins on. Um, I'm not recording right now. So yeah. So you guys could hear the, the clarity of that if I wanted to double this right here and give it more of a full feel. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever floats your boat. Um, so yeah, so this pretty much concludes our end of our second example right here uh, You guys should definitely know enough to be able to go through the presets and uh really make some hits. All right, awesome. So that pretty much concludes our tutorial. Uh, we just went through uh, Pro Tools. I showed you guys just around uh, the basic things that you guys need to know, basic things that you guys can control around the presets without um, doing any damage to your vocals. And uh, this should just be a nice quick way for you guys to be able to express your creativity. It should be no, oh, I have to spend hours on trying to figure out compressions or EQs and this and that. You guys can literally just drag and drop and keep going with your music. So let's get it.